Hey guys, Jeffrey here with your daily Bible upload. I want to thank you for joining us today, and I hope you have a blessed day. I'll be reading the book of Romans, chapter 5 from the NIV. In Romans 5, we will be reading about the hope that we receive from Christ's forgiveness of sin so we can stand justified before God. Death through Adam's sin and life through Christ's obedience to his Father. I hope you all will be joining us for chapter 6 tomorrow. If you are finding value from this, please like to help share the message and let me know what you think of my video in the comments below. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand, and we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our suffering because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and a character of hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by His blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through Him? For if while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to Him through the death of His Son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through His life? Not only is this so, but we also boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. Therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man and death through sin, and in this way death came to all people because all sinned, to be sure sin was in the world before the law was given. But sin is not charged against anyone's account. Where there is no law, nevertheless, death reigns from the time of Adam to the time of Moses, even over those who did not sin, by breaking a command, as did Adam, who is a pattern of the one to come. But the gift is not like the trespass. For if the man died by the trespass of the one man, how much more did God's grace and the gift that came by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow to many? Nor can the gift of God be compared with the results of one man's sin. The judgment followed one sin and brought condemnation, but the gift followed many trespasses and brought justification. For if by the trespass of one man, death reigned through that one man, how much more will those who receive God's abundant provision of grace and of the gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ? Consequently, just as one trespass resulted in the condemnation of all people, so also one righteous act resulted in justification and life for all people. For just as through the disobedience of the one man, the many were made sinners, so also through the obedience of one man, the many will be made righteous. The law was brought in so that the trespass might increase. But where sin increased, 
grace increased all the more, so that just as sin reigned in death, so also grace might reign in through righteousness to bring eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Thank you all for joining us today. I hope you all have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Blessings.